Welcome guys. The dimension incentivized test night will soon begin. So they recently announced stars two days ago that the incentivized test night is gonna start and those who have the roll up rule can get set for this test net. Our four million tokens has been devoted to this cards. Remember that um one billion is the total supply. And um those who deploy rollups those who have the top 10 rule out by usage and all that. And the other picks can get started with the rule up. Uh, uh, sorry, the test net when it eventually starts. Now, let's talk about dimension. What is dimension in the first place? Dimension is basically the home of roll ups. Now, roll ups are basically the future of scaling as the way things go in the blockchain space. Now, why is this needed? If you look at many of the blockchains that are added, they are following the monolithic design. Where you have things, uh, there are many components that makes a blockchain. We have things like uh, sentiment layer, uh, the execution layer, the security layer, and uh, many other layers. I think there are four components. Now, each of these components are fused into one. So that makes it to be inefficient. Number two is that's why you have monolithic chains where you have different stuff that have been built. You saw you see a platform like um, Celestia is just handling execution and handling a uh, data availability layer. Okay, yes, the last one I didn't talk about was data availability layer. Now that is for the uh, monolithic. Now another thing again is why are people going the roll up design or the option testes? Is because um let's say for example you build a chain or you are building a product a dApp your dApp has ten thousand users another person dApp has ten million users so just imagine ten million users coming and filling the blockchain so your users that ten ten thousand of them will be constrained to pay higher fees because of the demand that is coming from an app that has ten million users so you want to separate these things. That's where rollup is actually uh, coming into the scene. So for the rollup, uh, for the dimension, sorry, it will have something like uh, that is similar to the Cosmos SDK, which is called the RDK to develop rollups, a rollup development kit, and to also have uh, it will provide a settlement layer where. Uh, there will be things like unified security, unified liquidity, and uh, easy, seamless interconnectivity for the rollups that are deployed on it. Now, remember, this is the direction I mean, of this project are trending upon. If you go to projects like um, Arbitrum, Arbitrum has the Orbit, where you can uh, deploy, I think they call it Elitaries, which allow also rollups. Uh, OP, OP Manage has um, OP stack you can deploy and then you have the likes of base. Uh, I think this project base, linear, and other projects are uh, building on it. And then um ZK uh, Sync a few days ago announced the hyperchain so uh, uh, the SDK stack where you can ZK stack where you can build ZK rollups and all that. So dimension is similar to that at the settlement layer where you can use to build this. But now this is very, very different because the dimension platform offers what I call enshrinement. So these projects, they are smart contract rollups. So what connects them to Ethereum? They are not validators. Uh, it's just a smart contract. But for dimension, everything is going to be uh, modular. So there will be a modular layer. It also have an embedded hub AMM. So all the rollups that will be deployed on this chain, uh, we have a central place where they can actually uh, swap tokens, just like something that is similar to uh, the Cosmos. I'm oh, sorry, um, Osmosis. If you know Osmosis, um, in uh, Cosmos, so it's kind of central hub to swap things and all that. So and then. You can use any, well, I'm talking about Osmosis, you can use any data availability layer 
of your choice. You can use um, Celestia, like I talked about before. You can use um, again layer. You can use Avi or anyone that will come in for the uh, uh, any layer you can eat a modular uh, stuff so uh, keep it up on this project and they've raised i think 18 million dollars funding and they're building this token that so whether you have the this row or not if you have this real good you can be part of it if, even if you don't have this row uh you can still test out the project there is there is a reward for that i think testing users so keep note of that so thank you very much for this uh watching and uh